All right, y'all, so uh, I got some more bathroom stories for you guys. I'm going to have to start a bathroom chronicles on my YouTube channel. Because, guys, there be a lot of stuff going on, you know, in bathrooms that y'all may or may not know about. You know, men's bathrooms. Maybe women out there got the same story. Just just little weird things you notice when you walk into a bathroom or something like that, especially if you're a high vibrational person. First of all, when you talk about you disturb people when you come around, you know, a lot of you guys can hear about narcissism, how you trigger people because you're intelligent and you trigger their demons. So parasites is part of this demonic realm, too. I'm going to leave a link because some of y'all heard this story, but I tell a story about how I had to expel some worms out of my my system, even though I only eat one meal a day. I had this these worms, these pinworms, which is very common that I had to get rid of diamondaceous herb. But I'm telling y'all the story about how these these worms that was inside of my body was ordering food for me. They were ordering food when I was going on the detox. They was having people bring me cheeseburgers and pancakes to my door, and I knew that it was the parasites that or the demons that was doing this. See, that's why the medical industry doesn't let you know. They don't they don't let you know about the spirit realm. And they don't tell you about the parasites either. It's the parasites that be spreading the cancer. If you can get rid of them parasites, you can you can put that cancer in check. But I ain't gonna say too much about that. Anyway, y'all, y'all know how I've been talking about people following me into the bathroom. I'm, so when I come around, I, I disturb people's parasites. Those entities that are inside their their intestines, they start going crazy when I walk into a room. You understand? So and then when I come in there. The reason people could probably be keep following me to the bathroom is because they got to use the washroom when I come in. 13 Sun talks about this, too. I know this is not weird stuff, guys. This really happened. 13 Sun is the first person I ever heard talk about stuff like this. And now it's happening to me. And it's kind of weird because he was a brother that came around during my involvement. And now I see the same traits 10 years later that reminds my, the, the, my mannerism starting to remind me of him. It's very interesting. But yeah, I, if I walk into a room, people got to use the bathroom. That could be why they follow me into the bathroom. And now another thing that happens when I walk into the bathroom, guys, is that if anybody's sitting on that toilet taking a dump, they immediately get up off the toilet when I walk in. I'm thinking in my mind, like, why are you getting up? Like, if I'm sitting on the toilet and I got to take a dump, ain't nobody walking in the bathroom for the, for to make me uh, get up off that toilet until I'm done doing my business. So you talk about people who constipate it. If they can't push it out, when I walk in, like, ah, forget it. Because they can't push it out. That's why I do, I've do. i been doing enemas the last day, uh, every day for the last 10 years, y'all. Well, 13 years. And like I say, if I go to jail, don't tell y'all don't tell nobody. You're supposed to do enemas. You could do enemas every single day. Not full enema, just enough to clean your goddamn large intestine out. Because these people can't push this meat out, y'all. That's why that meat make you all constipated. If you take, if you take a dump, if y'all don't, if you don't do enemas and you take a dump, and then you do an enema behind it, or you let a little water go up in there behind it, you'll find that it's much, oh no, it's much more still up. That's why I say people are full of shit. Literally, people are full of shit. Okay? They're assholes. That's where your shock, root chakra is, and your asshole. You only can think from the root chakra. It's on an animal late, uh, type of nature. But anyway, um, yeah, so people get off the toilet when I walk in every single time, guys. Every single time. Now, one person stays on that toilet when I walk into a bathroom. I guess they figure, well, I'm going to try to push as hard as I can. When somebody walk in, I can't be pushing hard like that because I don't want to be making all these crazy noises. So let me just get off this toilet. Damn, I'll get it next time. See? And that's what the type of people that end up with colon cancer and stuff like that. Guys, you, know, you got you to gotta grow up, man. You, you got to get to the point where you mature and st stop being codependent on going to the hospital and all this. And doctors telling you nonsense and all this stuff. You got to take accountability. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna leave it in the link about what happened when I when I had to expel those worms. It's a serious thing, y'all. You get parasites in your body. But yeah, there is a demonic world out there where these parasites are communicating with the parasites and other people. Very strange stuff, y'all. Check out the link. Talk to you later. Peace.